MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel. And this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. Unbelievable. I couldn't even believe that there was two eights in there. This guy right here is doing something special. Uh, I welcome y'all to MBE. What you about to see? Box building in a different league. In this SQL scene, believe that money ain't a thing when it comes to his kings. Now that's fact, not fiction. Call 404 694 48 to 18. Okay. Don't matter, you got 48 or 18 or anything between. He got what you need. This is my crew. This is my gang gang. These are my kings. I think they're ready. I think they're ready to Dave. Let's see. Let's see what we're going to do. I'm going to go at, uh, going to see if they go for that king status today. Let's go. Oh, 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 and it was called like Well, they got it. They got the 140, which is great, surprising, because this woofer here, exceptional performance, especially when you only have 15 millimeters X Max. For them to be able to do what they just did was great. It's, uh, I think, a tight gap, strong, impactful bass. You're not going to need that much power. I had to, let me turn this camera around so y'all can see that. I didn't have the app receiving the full signal. I have it at 8. It goes to uh, 15. Please excuse the screen needs to be cleaned up. I ain't just having the time to done it. 
So I had it when I tested it, I had it there. I had a roughly half the signal. And then you see in my hand, what I was actually controlling was the uh, power. So I have half the signal there. And I'm sending this, the, the signal. I'm able to control even more of the signal with my remote gain knob. So I was increasing it as the bass note was in, was increasing, coming and down the back, so they wouldn't bottom out. Because I didn't mess with the epicenter at all. I never, when I go full tilt, I never turn the epicenter anywhere. In it stays nine. Right around nine at the most ten. If I go any more, it's gonna start clipping the signal, which is gonna have the silver's bottoming out and doing all kind of crazy, crazy things. So I, I pretty much keep it right here. And that's where, when I tested, that's where I had it. That's what my hand was doing. But I was increasing the power here and here. The pentium, the volume knob, and then I'm increasing the power here, just so I won't destroy them. Okay, so that's what I was doing here to get that signal and turn the camera back around. So I'm impressed with the performance. It has a king title, especially having 15 millimeters X Max when all the rest of the camp, rest of the kings, uh, 19, 20, uh, I think there's a couple with 23. Yeah, 23, the G7. Uh, so with that limited amount of X Max, I'm very, very pleased with the performance. Loves the lows, loves the lows. Definitely, definitely uh, worthy of the hippo name where Massive Audio is known for. And it has the MB stop for approval. It has the MB stop approval. It is a king. It is a king. So you need someone to build a box for these marvelous eights. Uh, get at me. Oh, get at me. Get at me. Number 404-694-4818. Uh, this was a 2.2. .2 uh q box or two so they roughly said 1.1 net at the end thing he said it's said and done it was tuned to 33 hertz great performance i think jr did a great job those in the massive audio cap you have you a nba eight inch king y'all be blessed